This is Tokyo 1948, vast, modern, thickly populated. How much do we know of Japan, whose economic and perhaps political life is bound up so closely with ours? These are the buildings of modern Tokyo, and this is the Tokyo ravaged by war. To understand Japan, we must understand her people. They, not the politicians, are building the new Nippon. Tokyo is rebuilding, using timber wisely conserved by forest planning, using men and women to carve out a new city from bombed ruins. They work for the government, of course. There's something mighty familiar about that stroke. Perfect precision. But they'll be an awful long time with those tram tracks. And just like Sydney and London and Timbuktu, Tokyo needs homes. Whole suburbs of wooden houses were swept away by wartime fires. But unlimited manpower is pushing building programs ahead with incredible speed. The main station, severely bombed, is back in operation. Occupation forces have their own compartments in fast electric trains. And the crowds look familiar too, don't they? These trams might be in George Street or Swanston Street, except, of course, there's not so much pushing. But Tokyo's modern transport is not sufficient to carry its millions. Men still pull heavily laden carts through modern streets as they did centuries ago. And this taxi cycle is now Tokyo's only form of hire car. Except, of course, the rickshaw. And to think that he flies 300 miles an hour. Japan is a strange mixture of the old and the new. Not a great deal can be done to change the thinking of an adult nation. Their minds have been conditioned by years of militarism and emperor worship. So the future of Japan as a democracy lies in her children. It is here that the seeds of democracy must be firmly planted. A lesson in oriental salesmanship. This sweet seller tells children serial stories. But he doesn't give away the whole story. Oh no. When he reaches the exciting part, he packs up sells sweets to the children, and puts up a to be continued in our next sign. In really modern cities, that's reserved for the radio. Baseball penetrated Japan long ago. But girls prefer Hanetsuki, a Japanese type of shuttlecock. Yes, youngsters are the same the world over. How's this for a balancing trick? And even very young Japanese babies can balance. Though one in Sydney got lots more publicity recently. Pop's proud too, and Mum has enough gold to solve the dollar problem. Tokyo, Oriental City, is in many respects completely Western. The Ginza is Sydney's Paddy's Market or London's Petticoat Lane. The Japanese youngsters look for his comics too, but I guess Superman is not as popular as he used to be. Fish forms a large part of the Japanese diet, and by diet we don't mean the government. Probably some eels there too, though. Ingenious toys, guaranteed to break as soon as you get them. Alongside great poverty is great wealth. Only the very rich can afford furs like these. Unprocurable in Australia, these cameras came from Germany, exported in exchange for war materials. This contact sells for a mere 550 pounds. An awful lot of yen. Inflation has hit Japan hard, and the value of the yen has reached an all-time low. There are now twice as many picture theatres as there were before the war. Two guesses as to the identity of these characters. British films are very popular, as they deserve to be. Women in Tokyo do most of the walking and a great deal of the work. But this digger's thinking of a pair of feet and legs back home. The Ginza is a cosmopolitan today, with Australians, New Zealanders, Americans and Englishmen walking in peace alongside Japanese. But in the War Ministry building, the war goes on for some, as Japanese war criminals are tried under a tribunal headed by Australia's Sir William Webb. He leads a panel of judges from the Allied nations. And here are the men being tried. That's former Prime Minister Toyo in the center. These are the men who led the old Japan, the madmen who took their nation to crushing defeat because they felt Japan was a match for decadent democracies. Outside, the Japanese people toiled to build a new nation under MacArthur's firm hand. The Japan of tomorrow is being molded in the streets of Tokyo today. <laughs>